गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इट इज टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक इट सो हैपन्थ दिस इज आर चैप्टर नंबर वन एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज हाउ केमल गॉड इट्स हम्प इट इज रिटन बाय नन अदर देन द फेमस राइटर रोडियार्ड किपलिंग दिस इज माई लेक्चर नंबर वन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू अबाउट द ऑथर रोडियार्ड किपलिंग was born on 30th december 1865 at mumbai in india he completed his education in england at the united services college then he returned back to india in 1882 he was a prolific writer he quickly achieved fame as a short story writer his famous short stories are plain tales from the heaths soldiers three and barak room ballads In 1894 his famous book Jungle Book was published and became the children classic all over the world. He died on 18th January 1936 at London in England. Let us start our chapter and the main characters are Camel who is main character and worker Ox dog and horse who are workers Man who is boss of four animals jin who is in charge of all deserts the introduction of the chapter is the story how camel got its hump is a fable story written by famous author rudyard kipling here the meaning of fable is a short tale to teach a moral using animals as characters he described the humorous story of how the lazy camel gains its hump the meaning of humorous means amusing or funny this is a perfect story for teaching a lesson about working hard and helping others the summary of the chapter is in the beginning of time when the world was new the camel had just started to work for humans but there was an animal camel who was living alone in the middle of the howling desert here the meaning of howling is long loud sound he did not want to walk he ate sticks and prickles and the meaning of prickles is thorns he said humph when anyone spoke to him suggestion of animals to the camel all animals were working for humans from monday it was 3 days the camel did not even start his work the horse went to him means to the camel on monday morning with a saddle on its back and said to the camel camel o oh camel come out and trot like us the meaning of saddle is seat on a horse back and the meaning of trot is the way horses walk move forward at the speed that is faster than a walk camel was lazy who used to say humph only camel replied humph to the horse by listening this the horse went away and told the man about him on tuesday the dog came to him with a stick in his mouth he said camel o oh camel come out and fetch and carry sticks like us here the meaning of fetch is go and bring or find and carry sticks like us means like dogs but the camel's answer was the same he again replied humph and the dog went away from there after listening this on wednesday the ox came with a yoke on its neck the meaning of yoke is piece of wood fixed on the neck of animals the ox suggested the camel to come out and plow the meaning of plow is a large farming tool with blades that digs the soil 
in field so that seeds can be planted the answer of the camel was the same humph discussion with man at the end of the day the man called all the three animals the horse the dog and the ox he told them about the camel he said three o oh, three i'm sorry for you but saying humph will not work in the desert since the camel had not come you three would have to compensate for the loss of work here the meaning of compensate means give something in replace of so he asked them to work double time in order to make up the camel's work complain to the jinn about the camel now all the three animals got very angry on the camel they held a panchayat on the edge of the desert they came to the jinn in charge of all deserts and complained about the camel the horse told the jinn that the camel did not work he said only humph the jinn assured them that he would set the camel right the jinn found the camel in the desert he was looking into his image in the river or his reflection in the river the jinn asked him to work but the camel uttered humph only the jinn tried to convince the camel for work but he replied with the same word humph again the jinn told the camel that because of his idleness the three animals had given extra work but the camel refused to do work and uttered humph the jinn tried again and said you have not worked since monday and now it is thursday now you will have to work for three extra days the camel's answer was same humph warning to the camel the jinn warned the camel that if he said humph again something bad might happen as soon as the camel uttered humph again the jinn made a magic and puffed up the camel's back into a hump he saw his back was puffing up and he was feeling very proud of it but suddenly it means his back turned to be very ugly the hump the jinn told the camel that it was his own hump which he himself had brought upon him by his selfishness and lack of activity the jinn ordered to work but he refused him to work by saying that his hump was a big hurdle or his problem for him the purpose of hump the jinn told the camel about the purpose of hump the camel had not done work for 3 days he would always be able to work for 3 days without eating he could live on his hump without eating the jinn asked him to behave properly camel started working he came out of the desert and started working then he went away to join the three animals from that day onwards the camel always has a hump but he had not caught up with his three days he had missed them at the beginning of the world but he has not yet learned to behave his behavior was same with all the three animals and 
his work was still pending so students this is the end of the lecture children you have to complete the homework on the basis of the chapter explained by me the homework is read chapter 1 and based on the understanding of the chapter write the answers of the questions mentioned in the book it so happened as page number 6 comprehension check question number 1 to 4 page number 8 comprehension check question number 1 to 4 and this homework you have to do in your fair road book in the next lecture we will discuss about the homework thank you and have a nice day